Okay, in this video, I'm going to show how to replace the battery in the 17 inch unibody MacBook Pro. To save time, I've already removed some of the screws on the back. That is the most time consuming part of this process. So there's only two screws. In order to do this, you'll need two tools. You'll need a small Phillips head screwdriver and this tool, which is kind of funky. It's, a, it's like a tri-wing tool. This actually, I had this for the Wii. Um, I know you can get them online for like seven bucks. I don't know if any stores carry them, um, but you can try. So you're gonna remove the back panel. This part is pretty straightforward. There's eight little screws to remove. Like I said, I've already removed most of them. There's only two in here now. Um, so just take these out real quick. And just remove the back panel. And you'll see all the components. Now the battery has a sticker that Apple's put here to deter you from changing the battery yourself. Why they don't want people to change their battery, I'm guessing it's a financial reason. Other than that, I can't think of uh, why they don't want you to change your own battery. So, I'm assuming once you remove this battery, you have voided your warranty. So, caution, if you uh, are just experimenting, you probably don't want to just remove the sticker in case something happens to your MacBook Pro. I personally don't care. So, I'm going to go ahead and remove it. To remove it, I am using this... I probably shouldn't be using my credit card on a video, but um, using a credit card to just lightly lift up the sticker um, like so. And it comes up pretty easily, um, and it actually sticks back down. So in reality, the Mac geniuses or whoever probably won't even realize that you've done this. Um, there are three black screws you have to remove, one here one here and one here with this funky tri-wing tool. So you just go in, unscrew these screws. And there's a cord. You should unplug the cord before you try to remove the battery because it's a very short cord. You don't want to hurt it. It's over here. Um, Apple does put these nifty tabs on everything that you want to remove. So you can just kind of lightly pull the cord out and it's unplugged. And then you can use this other tab here to lift and pull out and the battery's out. This is what the battery looks like. It's pretty thin. It's actually kind of light for being a supposed eight hour battery. And there you have it. Um, this is actually the trackpad on the other side, the glass one. This is how you get to, um, if you want to adjust the click sound which is another video I can make. So I, I give it within two months and you'll be able to buy these online. And um, you probably don't need to replace your battery within the next two months, hopefully. But um, yeah, potentially you can carry some of these around with you and swap them in the field. It would probably take about five to 10 minutes to swap out a battery, which isn't too bad if you really need to. So, um, and to put it back in, you just have to go under these little slots. So you just push it in. Set it back down. Um, this is probably the hardest part of the process is plugging this little clip in. Might be easier to do it without the battery in and with a little more light. Once you get it in though, just make sure it's snug so that it doesn't pop out when you're using it. Um, and then you can go ahead and seal back down your warranty sticker. And actually, I think they'd be hard pressed to tell that this is opened. Um, so, go ahead and replace your funky screws. This is probably easier to do with more light. Not that much light here. 
that my cat is attacking a bag. Make sure those are nice and tight so the battery doesn't wiggle around. And you just replace the back cover, put all your screws back, and you have swapped out the battery. It's pretty simple.